Welcome to the Maverick Podcast. Business growth tips and discussions to make you the expert in demand. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Maverick Podcast. I'm Ropa and today I'm joined by Hayley, our head of programs and events here at Maverick. Hayley, it's your first time onto the it podcast. Is. It is. How are you feeling? Nervous, but I think we all need to push our boundaries. Yeah. So let's give it a go. A little bit excited? Tiny bit, only because I'm speaking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, so kind of my little segue, I told yep. you about this earlier yeah, before we started. Um, segue onto our topic today. So nervous and excited is how we're both kind of feeling, I guess. Yeah. And that's how a lot of people are also feeling about heading back to in-person events. Yeah. Um, that was my little segue. Did you like I it? I got it. I yeah. got it, Ropa. I got it. It wasn't the best, but it's, it's okay. Um, so in-person events, obviously during like, you know, the pandemic, yeah. a lot of people, we, everyone had to stop doing in-person events. Yeah. Do you think that the pandemic kind of helped businesses be build like resilience and innovation, you know, to going on to, um, what's it called? Online events. Yeah. So, yeah, of course. So businesses had to really change up their strategy big time. Yeah. Um, us at Maverick, we had to do that as well. So predominantly we were um, in person meeting greeting you know seeing everybody yeah um but you know during the pandemic obviously that was the first time we've experienced something that needed to change and change rapidly so yeah we we started hosting them online um and they actually went really well yeah um so a lot of businesses obviously I'm aware that they had to come up with some kind of other strategy to get through the pandemic because you know it lasted nearly two years so exactly you know it wasn't just a one month thing so yeah it definitely helped businesses uh, find a different way to do what they do best. Um, and I think generally it it went well. Yeah, I think it like did <clears throat> build that resilience of businesses to say like, this is what's happening. Yep. And then instead of us just kind of stopping and not doing what we do best, we're going to find a way to still kind of keep that community and mm-hmm. communicate with our audience and communicate with our crowd. Um and then other, you know, platforms like LinkedIn built up um, LinkedIn events yes, and yeah. things like Clubhouse as well. So like technology is forever evolving and it kind of opened up a door, I guess, to a space we didn't really have before where we could communicate with such a mass audience. I mean, of course, we were using social media before the pandemic hit. Yeah. Um, but I think this opened up a new door of like how businesses in particular yep. can still communicate with their audiences, especially B2B businesses. Because yep. I think for B2C, it's kind of easier for them to have that communication directly to their consumers. Mm-hmm. But B2B, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, like we can't, you know, go network in person. I think yeah, networking of this course is such a big thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and us at Maverick, of course, we were, we were quite well known for our in-person events. Yeah. So to change up the strategy, like you were saying, and go to you know, online was like a massive, a really, really big deal yeah, to, you know, was. keep in touch. So do you think there's like, how do you kind of keep in touch then, you know, with your audience and with your crowd, you know, going back now to in-person events, yeah. how do we translate that and keep in touch with our with our audience? So I think it's, uh, so obviously we've had to go back to building relationships predominantly online. Yeah. Um, to do that, obviously, you've got the likes of Zoom, you've got Google Meet, you've got Teams. So it's still important to have a touch point with a person. Um, You don't want to be robotic continuously. You know, you don't just want to contact someone over email or direct message. So it's still important to get that face-to-face of some description. Um, And also, obviously, you just need to maintain a a closer connection with Mm -hmm. your you know your business customers your clients just ensure that because you're not seeing them face to face that they still feel supported yeah Um, of course so yeah we we've done that really well um especially at maverick um but it is exciting to go back to in-person events because you just you get so much more i don't i don't know how to say it but it's real people yeah it's real real people people it's real real networking you, you know you can build relationships you know you can pick up on people's body just the, language, but, tone of voice, all of that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, everything. So, yeah, it, it's been difficult, but it's something that a lot of businesses have, have had to do. Do you think that, like, you know, the in-between stage of, like, you know, kind of right now, we're, so we're working back to go back on yeah. to in-person events. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a kind of in-between stage. So we're doing both. Yep. 
this little back and forth that we're kind of doing, I guess, do you think there's a time where it will stop and we'll just be focused on um, in-person events versus online events? Or do you think there's a benefit in continuing to do yeah. both of them at kind of the same time? So in-person events are great to get back to, as I've mentioned, but I actually think there's a very big space for a hybrid of in-person and online. Okay. Um, you know, we've all got busy day schedules, we all work eight, nine hours a day, you know, Some sometimes even more. So a lot of people can't get to in-person events. So actually the fact you can hybrid them, show them online is actually a real bonus for some yeah. people, especially if they're working hard and they can't commute or travel. So I think a mixture of both is definitely a good way to go. Yeah. Um, you can build your audience online. You know, that's not a really hard thing to do if you're targeting the right people. Um, and they will be interested in your products, you know? So I think a mixture of both is definitely here to stay. Yeah, I do think, I agree with what you're saying. I think there's a real benefit in having both things yeah. there and having both of them kind of as a constant in your business module and in your business plan, I yeah. guess. Um, you know, with going to online events, you build your crowd and we've built our crowd. We built quite a big crowd online. And yeah people that aren't in the same country as us or people that we may have never been able to reach before. But yeah. I guess that's the plus side of having like something really online is that you get you get to reach more people. Yeah. And now that, you know, we can go back to in-person events, does it mean that we should like abandon them? Yeah, of as, course. Yeah. Like to say, because we still have that crowd that still want to know what we're up to and still want to know, you know, the va still want the value that we provide for them. Yeah. So I do think it is like important to have, that continued like crowd and to continue engaging with those people yeah, just because they're online. Do you think that in-person events though are like invaluable or irreplaceable, I guess, just because of the, like we said earlier, the human interaction of yeah, them of course, and the human yeah, yeah. networking. And I guess networking, old school networking is, you know, face-to-face -face, in-person meetings, that kind of thing. So do you think that they are still kind of that irreplaceable space yeah yeah I really do so especially us at Maverick you know we're, we're quite personable people yeah you know we like to have a chat with people get to know them a bit better you know find out their goals there you know just have that conversation with people so I think it in-person events are invaluable um but as you know as I've as I've, ugh, sorry as I've said obviously online you can you you can reach a wider amount of people and it's it's kind of ease of access, isn't it? Mm. So if you can get the same information online as you would in person, happy days. Yeah, of course. Like with that as well, with um, in-person events, like I just agree with everything you've just said there. There's that, you know, you can show your personality yeah. a bit more. You're not just a character behind a screen yep. and you're not just like, you know, oh, that's, I've seen you on YouTube or I've seen yeah. you wherever. You're an actual person and you're actual an actual person speaking to real people. Yeah, of course. You know, I kind of, I think, it's easier to go to an in-person event sometimes than it is to be online. Just because like we said before, the tone of voice, the body language, you can kind of tell what someone's thinking or yeah. how they're feeling yeah, yeah. when you're face to face with that person instead of being behind a screen and typing away. Yeah. Do you personally have a favorite between in like in-person and online events? You know, as like the head of programs and events yeah. here at Maverick, what's your... So favorite. I'm yet, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm yet to go to an in-person yeah. event. Um, since I've joined Maverick, everything we've done is predominantly yeah. been online. So it's only the last kind of couple of weeks um, in-person events have taken place. So I'm looking forward to going to one, yeah. um, checking out the atmosphere, seeing what it's like, um, but also understand that in-person ev events for businesses can be quite, you know, th there's cost to them, whereas yeah, setting one up online, you know, it's, it's quick and simple, yeah, people turn up. Um, so yeah, they're definitely invaluable, but I am looking forward to experiencing them in person, in person again and yeah. just getting a feel for the atmosphere because it must be great. Yeah. See, I've only ever been to one here at Maverick. Yeah. And yeah, no, the vibe is very, very different yeah. from, of course, you know, when it's an online event, unless if it's a, you know, shared online event, mm. it's only one person really doing that. Yeah. Whereas an in-person event, you know, you, you have a team with you. Yeah. You feel kind of more supported, I mm -hmm. assume, I think. I hope so. Um, I felt more supported. Yeah, of course. Um, kind of, than just doing something like completely kind of by myself. Mm. And I think that's a nice thing as well because it's not just nice for the people that you know you're there with. Yeah. You know the people visiting the event or whatever 
that wherever you're hosting the visitors, it's also nice for the team. You're all on the yeah. same page. You, you all know what you're doing. Um, what would you say for though, for people that want to go back to, you know, in-person events, businesses in particular that want to go back to in-person events who are maybe a bit wary, a bit worried or feel like they've built that brand so big now on mm. online spaces <clears throat> that they don't maybe, maybe like see the need to go to an in-person event? So I would say do it. Okay. I would say give it a go. Um, a lot of people have been stuck in the houses for the yeah. last two years. Um, so personally, I would never come offline. Yeah. Um, so I would continue with them. But it is going to be beneficial to get people face to face again. Yeah, of course. I think as humans, we're only naturally wanting to connect and speak with yeah. each other. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, definitely. I, I would I would definitely advise it. Advise it, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Do you have any other like tips or anything to go back to in-person events? No, I don't. But yeah, I think it's it's we're getting out this of was, the pandemic, yeah. and this has been an eye opener, like conversation. Yeah. It really has. Yeah, we are getting out of the pandemic, and things are kind of you know returning back to normal. Get back to it. That's yeah, what I say exactly. And I think in the next couple of years, at least, well, maybe like next year, at least twenty twenty three, I think in-person events will be kind of. Back to how they really used to be before, yeah, hopefully. Um, before the pandemic hit. But you know, there's. I guess it's nice to also have that online presence and I think crowd as well. That's gonna stay. That is gonna stay. It's it has to, to stay yeah. with all the like social media pre- like apps and it's got to. platforms. It has to stay. It's got exactly. to exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Maverick Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you, Haley, for joining me on this episode. Thank you, Ropa. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>